It's a beautiful evening in Winnipeg as we get set to fire up another year of Friday night football on TSN. It's the Bombers and Ticats at IG Field. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers, you're familiar with. They've been to three straight Grey Cups, and they bring back the core once again this year. The Tiger Cats, on the other hand, 8-10 and 10 last season. They lose in the playoffs. They make significant changes, and none bigger than Bo Levi Mitchell. Just 12 games played over the last two years with the Riders for Duke. Now they hand it off to Butler and a great push right up the middle again. Chalk up another one there. Seth Small out to put points on the board. And he is able to knock that through at the top of the list for the CFL and TSN top 50. They hand it off to Dembski. Tries to cut it back. Ball pops out. Mad scramble for it at the 40. You have a chance to score six. You want to go for that, not just set it for three. Second and ten. Mitchell running out to his left. Throws it as it intercepted on the far sideline. And it is an interception. Guys in great shape getting in even better shape. Unbelievable. Deep shot down the field. Agadosi's got it. Pulls it in just inside the 50. Second and 10 on the Hamilton 39. Kolaris near side. Wolitarski wide open for a first down. Takes it to the 20. Bombers need seven. They'll take more for sure. Pressure coming. Kolaris towards the end zone. Dembski got it. Touchdown Winnipeg. Kolaris to Dembski. And the Bombers strike. As Gibson is now the offensive line coach for the Ticats, they had a good laugh over that moment. Reminiscent, guys. Clint kicks this away. Towering kick bounces at the six and all the way into the end zone. About this being the, the longest he's been with one team. Polaris looking for Dembski again, and he's got him again! And a touchdown. Has it, fake, Dembski, end zone, touchdown! Rasheed Bailey, rather. A lot of time left in the world of Canadian football, but you don't want to see that game plan forced to change for Hamilton if they fall further behind here. Butler fumbles it, it's scooped up and brought back the other way by Demario Houston. To the Bombers and the home crowd here. Polaris fakes the handoff. Wolotarski in the end zone, defender falls, touchdown! Polaris strikes again, his third passing touchdown of the opening quarter, and the Bombers in full control. Butler out to the right, Mitchell throws to the left, and that is held on to necessary roughness, and Omar Bayless has moved his ball up to the 45 for Winnipeg. That's where they start Dembski, another big chunk, all the way down to the 45. Not sure exactly. I don't think it was on Lawrence. It was announced on Lawrence, but looked like he was trying to take advantage. Just inside the right hash. She had to hold. And the steal steady. Certainly making the most of that. He's emerged as their go-to guy. Pitch it out to Butler. He's got a first down. Spun off of contact. Agadosi back in there now. Polaris. Dumps it off, Oliveira puts on the brakes, finds some space, first down and more. Brady Oliveira inside the 30, a big pickup. Looking for more. Polaris to his right. Schoen hauls it in, tried to break a tackle, now they'll push him forward. Pigram will try again, this time from the one. And it looks like he stopped again, thrown down, no helmet. And they will not do that. They work from the Hamilton 47. Polaris over the middle looking for Dembski. He's got it. What a catch by Dembski. Takes it down to the 25. 19 yarder. Taking the handoff. In trouble immediately and taken down. Willie Jefferson, first man there. Ball pops out. Bomber top on it. Two sacks on the night for Jefferson. Well on his way to the seven that he had last year. But pitch it out. Oliveira with a ton of room, down inside the 20, 15, eventually forced out of bounds. Just inside the right half, a chip shot, and Castillo makes no mistake. Bombers roll, and the fans oh, are hey, good having to, the time of their life. Good to be a Bomber fan. 
Good night to be a Bomber fan. Standing in the shadow of his goal coach. So half his one blocks and hopping all over at the Tie Cats. And if you're looking for momentum, how about a touchdown? Omar Bayless, who took a penalty earlier in the game, gets some redemption here at his first CFL strike. Offense back out here looking for a couple. Mitchell has it on the run. Tight window, and that'll be picked off. And taken back outside the 15. First and 10 on that Winnipeg 50. Back to Oliveira. Holds on to the football. Kolaris having an excellent night. Here's some pressure. Oh, what a move by Zap. Now he's up in the pocket on the run. Cardi in his face. Takes him down. Doesn't quite have Dad's first step. White wide open. Des Lawrence had fallen, and they finally connect on a deeper shot. Has been targeted double digits here tonight by his new quarterback. Now down the field, Duke Williams grabs it, turns, takes it to the 15, trying to stay on his feet, and he does to the five, and eventually it's Holm again who gets back. Another crack at it for the Top Cats. Mitchell looks to his right, throws to his right for wide, goes up, gets it. And he hung on, spectacular by Tim White, and he lays in pain just beyond the end zone. Zach Kolaris dumps it off. Nice burst and a push ahead down inside the 35. Bailey in his fourth season with the Bombers. Career highs last year shown. What a catch as he picks that off. Less than 90 seconds remaining, quarter number three. They'll hand it off to Bailey, pushing ahead down inside the five. Second and goal, Hamilton two. Simple this time, Oliveira untouched to the house. And the Bombers tack on six more. About 11 minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Polaris pressure right up the middle, dumps it off. Oliveira's got it, and he's got a ton of room. Oliveira. Midfield and more down to the 40 and eventually a delicate is able to take them down For Oliveira who's also on the verge of a hundred yard game on the ground Polaris in trouble this time can he get there? No, it's gonna be scooped up at midfield and now a race will stay on their feet and all the way the other way a scoop and score for Edwards as the Ticats defense Gets it done. Good anticipation there for the Tiger Cats in terms of disrupting that backfield flow. They'll go for two here to try to make it a 14 point game. Mitchell to the corner for Duke Williams, almost at it. Tiger Cats able to take advantage of it as they just hang around a little bit. Grant. Finding some space. That ball pops up the tight cats have it again. Are you kidding me? This one down to the 10, the 5, and stopped just short. Bombers crowd trying to get behind this defense. They'll hand it off. Pushing through and getting there. James Butler. Touchdown Tie Cats, and they are still alive. The Tie Cats showing absolutely no quit. Four options out to his right. Looks that way, throws that way. Williams has it. And we've got an eight point ball game for Friday Night Football at IG Field. Oliveira stands to the left of Polaris. Pressure coming. Polaris steps up. Now he's going to take off to his left. He's got some room to run. Spins. From 50 yards for Castillo to push this lead back to 11. Castillo has it. Steady as she goes, right down the middle, more than enough. A new home, a new team, and a new look for Bo Levi Mitchell. A touchdown and a couple of interceptions tonight. Goes 18 to 34 for 187 yards. On the other side, the back-to-back -back MOP looks to play the part once again. Zach Kolaris, brilliant, 354 yards, three touchdowns, and most importantly for Zach and this team, leading the Blue Bombers to a victory with the help of his running back, Brady Oliveira, who was terrific tonight as well.